Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be having a special lunchtime topic here talking about the peanut butter and jelly analogy in online marketing, which is organic and paid search marketing. I'm Chad Hill. I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good morning, Chad. So SEO and PBC are like peanut butter and jelly. They go very well together, each one on their own. Not quite as interesting. What are we talking about here? Well, I think you know a lot of people will struggle with how much of their budget to put towards PBC or SEO. SEO is definitely the long-term plan, and there's a lot of data that shows just how effective it can be. It's really about your brand longevity. Um, it can really be a much lower cost per lead acquisition when you take the long view um, than if you put that money into advertising. And it also serves as a great foundation for a lot of your other marketing efforts. And we've talked a lot in our video series about how cross-pollination between PPC, email, social, email marketing, and your website are all really, really important. But there's some serious downsides to search engine optimization. I think that's particularly relevant here uh, two weeks after Penguin 2.1. Um, it does take a long time, and it's a roller coaster ride. It is uh, the rules of the game can change as Google changes things. So, unlike PPC, where you see immediate results, SEO you have to wait a long time. And even if you did have great results for a while, an algorithm change can come along or something unexpected, and can really uh, you know take a whack on your ranking. So, the downside there uh, for SEO is obvious. The downside of PPC is cost. Now, even with that, here's some interesting stats um, in, that came out of the state of the paid search reports that I think we should uh, think about and talk to our viewers about. 70% of folks surveyed increased their PPC spend in 2013, and that's really consistent with the top line numbers we're seeing from Google and as we track Facebook and as Twitter with their IPO gets into the advertising game. 72% plan to increase their PPC spend in 2014. Um, 73 of the, 73 percent of those folks spend a uh, plan to spend it in AdWords, with about half of those surveyed saying they plan to increase Bing, and and half surveyed saying they plan to increase Facebook. So consistent with the trend, ad spends going up mostly in AdWords, but uh, also in Bing and in Facebook, uh, as people consider whether to put their money to PPC or SEO. Yeah, absolutely. And I th we had some other complimentary stats here where, you know, basically um, HubSpot also put out a survey that every year and talks about how much that CMOs and other marketing leaders are putting into inbound marketing. And basically we've got a stat here that says that 53% of people are increasing their inbound marketing budgets, um, that SEO and social media uh, account for about 23% of total inbound marketing budgets. Uh, and that SEO is a top channel for conversions and one of the top for sales leads. So these are, SEO is still critically important. Um, I think though one of the big questions here is, well, should, if I, should I pick one or the other? And Adam, you certainly talked about the risks of, of only investing in one versus, versus being more diversified. But another benefit, and we talked about this in a, a video a few weeks ago, is that there was a study that came out that actually showed that um, paid search and SEO, or organic listings, that actually the paid search results can, in most cases, get incremental results. Uh, so especially if you were, I think, at position four or below on the page, that something like 80% of the clicks you're getting from paid search are actually incremental. They would not have happened had you not been in the uh, paid search results. So I think these, really, these things really do go together, and they're really important. There's a couple other things that I wanted to mention about why should you do paid search in organic. Uh, one of the other really important ones is that with paid search you can reach a much broader set of keywords more quickly. So not only can you, you know, see more immediate results, but SEO is great when you can rank on those head terms, especially the head terms, uh, that you know how expensive they would be to, to dominate in paid search only. The nice thing about paid search is that you can also then expand beyond those head terms to trying a lot of different um, uh, terms and we do this in our business all the time. We say, I wonder if we, you know, develop this product and advertise it like this, what would the response be? And so it allows us to very quickly test uh, and get a better sense of what the market is for certain products out there. It's really a great way of complementing. Now Google knows that this is happening as well, and they're trying to bring more people into paid search. So one of the things that they've done recently in AdWords is they've actually, for the first time, allow you to get a side-by-side -side comparison of organic and paid search and how you're doing in both. Uh, so this is something that takes a little bit of configuration. You have to go through AdWords, go to the dimensions area, and then you have to actually link your AdWords account to your Google Webmaster Tools account. Sometimes those things are a little tricky, but once you do that, you can have some really new information that, that you wouldn't otherwise have. 
Yeah, so they have it, peanut butter and jelly, SEO and PBC go together. I, I often think of it from the risk management perspective, Chad, which you articulated, which is the more diversified your marketing strategy, the safer your business is, which is very similar to diversifying your financial portfolio. But you make the point that it's actually performance is actually enhanced. So it's not just a risk management decision. It's actually a turbo booster for your marketing, which will have better results. I think the last point I'd make, and this was this was interesting, it came up in an interview you and I did with a reporter yesterday, and she was asking, you know, how do you advise small business folks who are trying to make that migration from the yellow pages, which is dying or dead for them and too expensive for the return, into online marketing and they're just getting started. And we see this all the time, Chad. They, they've heard from the grapevine, from the media coverage, from their nephew, from someone at church that you know SEO, wow, it's the best thing around. It's the cheapest way uh, to get leads long term. And they want to they want to swing for the fences and start there. I actually think that's a huge mistake for people just leaving yellow pages who really don't understand internet marketing. SEO is the wrong place to start. It's, it's very confusing. It's very complex. It, as we said, it takes a long time to be effective and they don't have the trust yet and so PPC is really the smart place for them to start it's the most analogous to Yellow Pages advertising they put their budget in they get their phone calls they understand that this is the replacement for the Yellow Pages do that for six months or a year in addition to the ancillary benefits you outlined, Chad, in terms of understanding your keyword space and working on conversion and all those things, they're also just developing trust with the Internet and then some awareness of how this works so that when they do, they're ready to venture into SEO, which is the jelly that you know needs to be added at some point here. That should be probably year two. And then they're ready to accept that that is a 12- to 18-month venture. It's going to be filled with ups and downs, you know, two steps up, one step back. There will be an excellent return, but it's not going to be the straight line that you're used to with Yellow Pages or PPC. We'd certainly be interested in your feedback, bringing customers into online marketing. Have you seen them go into SEO first and be successful, or is PPC really the stepping stone we think it is? Share your ideas, uh, and we also hope you'll subscribe.